How old is your daughter? She's 20. 20. All right, your 20 year old daughter. Um, what do you do for a living? I already told you, I do caregiving. Oh, you told me, you did tell me that. I, 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 What's your, what's your, I'm like, I'm all over the place. What's your know, zodiac sign? Uh, have you been drinking? Because I only had one. Right. <laughs> no, I haven't been drinking, though. <laughs> okay, I literally I stopped it's drinking on a, a week ago. <laughs> I'm seven. Okay. I was an alcoholic, but I gave up alcohol last, last Thursday. But I nevertheless, know. what is your zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. Okay. Have you ever been married, never. Robin? Never. Never. Okay, Robin, I, I got to see your head. So no. Keep the phone good. Okay, I'm holding it all out right, here. So we got Robin, North Carolina, 57, Leo, is a nurse, sells antiques, mom to a 20-year-old daughter, no, never married. Correct. What kind of man are you looking for, Robin? I'm looking for a loyal man and a man that's uh, positive with a sense of humor and one that can roll with the punches because life is going to come at you. So flexible and... Um, a good solid man, a family man that loves his family and won't cheat, will be faithful. That's important. Okay. What are your deal breakers? I have deal breakers, but they're um, someone who is controlling. I don't like that. Um, somebody who is a liar, cheater, the basic um, things that, that don't keep people together. Um, I don't prefer people that have closed minds. And that's it. Okay. okay. Now, do you, should the man look a certain way? Are you open to our ethnicities? Like, do you have an ethnicity preference? I really don't. Okay. I'm really looking for a good person with a good heart. Okay. So here we go. And we got Auntie up here. Say what y'all want in the chat. We had two Beckys up here tonight, but they probably, they're five times more likely to land the same man as their counterparts are going after. He liable to go up in his house because the perks are tremendous. Say what y'all want. It's a joke. It's a laugh. But this one probably be a man up in there. Yeah, I said this before. And then you grew up in the hood. Y'all know that one Caucasian woman that's always in the hood. She stayed with a man. She ain't never not got a man. Probably had your man, <laughs> at least for one night. It is what it is. Yeah, shout out to Fleetwood Mac sister. Looking real rough. Rolled hard. Put away most wet. Too many biker bars. Too, too many bonfires. <laughs> So here we go. <laughs> they be hunching today. <laughs> should he look a certain way? He should look healthy. And um, no, that's about it. Just healthy, happy. I'd like a natural person. Um, just somebody who's in shape. I think that's nice. But I really don't have a lot of, um, I, I don't, I'm not really pick. I'm not, I'm not, I am picky in some ways, but I don't really, it just really, really depends on your heart. I really need to see your energy and know that you're, I can understand you. Some people can talk to, talk a good story. I'm just saying, yeah, I'm all about a good person. Just a good loyal person. Uh, and if he's, yeah, a person who looks honest to me, like in the eyes. You can see it. Okay. Um, okay, fair enough. Should he make a certain amount of money? Enough to take care of himself. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. I, I take care of myself and my family. I'm I'm doing good. I hope that that person also is able to take care of themselves i'm getting ready to retire getting to the age where i've worked my whole life i'm ready to travel a little bit so if you have a little bit in the bank or if you're working towards retirement that's good that's all somebody okay. who, my requirement probably somebody who is just a little bit uh conservative with their money and 
also wants to travel and has that you know money available to Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. No bread, no water, just meat. He traveling. You paying for everything. He don't work. This is a couch Negro. But he going to show up. His weenie still work. I'll tell you that. Yeah, you got the game messed up, uh, Mrs. Fleetwood Mac. We going to help you out, though, over him. Yeah, over him, we call you pay to play at absolute best. Nug Nug coming through hard meat, hard time. Zero funds. At best. At best. Absolute best. <laughs> she definitely drunk. This is Black Velvet Auntie. Like, she, she gonna say, Kendra, I had one drink. Yeah, you ain't tell us the glass was this big and it was all alcohol and ice. Stop lying. <laughs> Listen, this is to get drunk off of some cheap booze, some five o'clock gin. And she gonna start telling you all the wild things she used to do. She be like, "Yeah, I used to. We used to tour with with the uh, with the Grateful Dead. Yeah, we was all around. Did some wild things, man. Wild things. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> all that that part. She start telling you about Woodstock. It was what a time. What a time. What a time, man. Yeah, the penicillin was flowing. <laughs> <laughs> He's sick." And Pharaoh's Kingdom says, Lot Lizard calling in. It's getting spooky. Uh, listen here. We equal opportunity. We don't discriminate. Come on. Tell us your cracky tales. <laughs> <laughs> Squeegee kid. Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant looking Becky. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, letting the lead out. Shout out to Led Zeppelin. Okay. You said something that someone said. I missed it when you said it. So I'm not sure what you said that I missed. But but nevertheless, let's do the Kendra cam. That's when you stand up and we see your full body. Oh, okay, Robin. Okay, I'm wearing a little skirt. Can you see me? Oh, that's a skirt. Okay, we got you. Okay. I'm in shape, I suppose. I'm good. Got you, Robin. We got you, girl. Say what y'all want. Granny ain't blowed out. Some old timer gonna end up in here. Granny's surroundings is gross. Her house is nasty. That couch yeah. Negro don't care. He ain't got nowhere to go. He leaving his grandma's basement for his own house. He ain't too much worried. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, dirty old women. That's that's cringe. Ugh. Yeah, nug nug coming. He going to add to the aromas in there with his corn chip functified feet. He come and enjoy. But as far as try having money to travel, you take that off the docket. He around. He's available to travel on your dime. Write that down. <laughs> I'm in shape, I suppose. I'm good. Got you, Robin. We got you, girl. Robin, when was your last Beep. relationship? Oh, it's been a while. Ten years. You've been single for ten years. I have. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's been about six months. Okay, six months ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, three flaws you have to work on. I could be a little bit more careful about choosing men. Sometimes I, I don't, I don't. Thinking, uh, I don't think it through, and I'll just go on some impulse. So I'm, I need to be a little bit more careful and discerning. Um, I'm also working on being a little bit more. I like to travel, so I run around a lot. Honestly, I need to settle down, and I'm, I'm also an artist, so I would prefer to settle and spend some time to um, do my art i think that's important to focus on things that 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 you're drawn to and i've forgotten about my artistic and i haven't been painting so settling down and not running around i think people spend a lot of time running around and not really focused on sort of just spending some time with themselves i think that's important so that's number two number three i'll just just say um i'm very very shy. I, I don't know. I come off like you say, oh, you're on drugs. I just I just am very shy. So I'm trying to work on 
when I do Ooh, I, meet people. I never said are you on drugs. I said had you been drinking. Okay. Or drinking. Do right. you do drugs? Um, I just no, I don't. Has somebody just, asked you that before? No. I used to. That was a long time ago, Kendra. Woodstock. That was a different time. I'm a new person, Kendra. I don't do drugs anymore. <laughs> Yeah, man. Shout out to Rick James. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. You know, you ain't got to do it for a while, but look, it's my understanding. I shan't ever know. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, it's my understanding that it has prolonged effects. And yeah, I don't know why she bought drugs into the room. Was it the chat? Uh, Fleetwood Mac? <laughs> Fleetwood Bonquisha? <laughs> man, so I'm going to let her land this plane, but the net net of it, auntie here, she liable to get a man up in there clapping cheeks. It's unfortunate. All mm -hmm. the fellas out there, if you got any, you know, maybe your pops or your uncle, you got an old drunk unk, say, man, I seen one on the Kendra show. I got one for you. You know, give, yeah, download the Kendra app for him and let him shoot a shot. There you go. She she got housing for your, for your drunk homeless unk. That's wild. <laughs> Throw him my alley-oop. There you go. <laughs> I just when you said have you been drinking it's because I come off like I'm I just am shy so maybe just being a little bit more able to be outgoing and I think that's important confidence that's number three it's an it's it's all inside it's it tied into being shy is confidence uh Robin why would a guy be lucky to be with you girl because I'm a genuine person, I'm loyal, I'm funny, I'm a good person, I'm honest. And when I'm not shy, I am a very good, fun person. When you're not shy, you're very I have a lot, a lot to offer. I'm not in debt. I don't have a lot of hangups. I'm not a negative person. I, I just have a lot going for me. I really do. I'm a good, ni nice person. They're a nice person. Okay. Robin, are you on the Kendra G singles dating app? I actually am not. Okay. Well, I, you have to download the app and that's how the man can reach out to you. Robin okay. for sure is taken, but now we have usernames. What will be your unique username so the guy can find you? My name is spelled with a Y, so it'd be Robin with a Y. I don't think you're the only Robin with a Y, but let me let me just let me just confirm. Let's just see. So there you go. Nonetheless. Oh, drunk Bet Keisha. I'm not even sure. What's her age? 50 plus. Yeah, we all think. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what she said. Huh. You know what's crazy? We don't, we're not sure of her age, but we, from the looks, we are hoping for her sake she 50 plus. Because if she 40, that's rough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if she 50, all right, we get it. But anything under that, yeah, that shows you had an extensive past. Shout out to the Baraka. All right, this is extensive past bay. Guarantee you, she may have grew grooved it up in the church, but once that church let her loose, she was outside. All right, it's hard, black tell, black it's hard to tell about uh Bet Keisha sometimes how they age. You know, black don't crack, but sometimes y'all seen the Olsen twins, you know, they 30 years old, they look like they were 60. So you never know sometimes with Becky. She liable to be like, I'm 42. You'd be like, what? Yeah. Cocaine. Heroin. <laughs> so with that being said, to the sub. There you go. <laughs> the passengers of the doomed Titanic sub spent their last moments in total darkness looking for bioluminescent creatures out of the small window and listening to their favorite music. The new details of the five passengers' final moments have been revealed by the wife and mum of the father-son duo. Wait in the water, wait in the water, time and wait in the water. Something's gonna trouble the water. You better wait in the water. Amen. Mercy. Yeah, that's egregious. That's all right. We're doing a service. Y'all gonna watch this, Bonquisha's, Becky's gonna observe this. I believe if they lucky, and take some notes from it. See what's acceptable out there in the dating market. Coming up here and look like you was a deadhead and you've been out, you know, camping out during Woodstock for the past 15 years. Not the best look.